He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. A computer. Guys got pinball in this thing? Oh, I can't play with it. <laughs> Nap time. Desmond, here's your little vitamin C packet. <laughs> now you could stay in the Animus for hours. If you do three Man, hours in the Animus, we'll give you a Caprisa. That would probably motivate me to do it. Done for today, Mr. Miles. Let me out of here. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Can we keep talking? Can I just follow you out the door? Oh. What sort of witchcraft is that? Can I play on this computer? Does it have pinball? Or minesweeper at least? So you're really an assassin? Like outside here? Yes and no. I was supposed to be one, but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Messiah, I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. Just a small community in the middle of nowhere. It's about 30 of us living, you know, off the grid. Why? Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to the man, you know? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. You have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. 
It's all right. Gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Isn't your job literally got to... Got a question for you before I turn in. Sure. Oh. How did they find me? I mean, I haven't been anywhere near another assassin for ten years. Use your real name? Nope. Not before today. Credit cards? Cash only. Telephone? There's no one to call. Driver's license? Motorcycle. Guilty pleasure. There's your answer. Photo? Fingerprint. This is a drug company. What does Abstergo have to do with the DMV? Desmond, these guys are everywhere. They... I... I'm sorry, I, I really can't talk about it. But anyways, you're... <laughs> you're... Don't mean to drudge up the past. Your job is literally to drudge up the past. My past. Or my... Dad's, 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 dad's past. <laughs> Anyways, time for sleepies. Damn it, they locked the door. Of course they locked the door. <laughs> Oop. Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and, well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education, re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess, you've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling. Well, if you tell me what you're looking for, it might make the process go a little quicker. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know how this works. Oh, okay. Just let me get back in the brain zapper. I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. 
So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sab, one of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. I don't even have a blade anymore? Oh no, I can't counter kill. Crap. <laughs> I've lost the ability to combat. Oh, look at my poor little health. <laughs> Alright, never mind. I don't feel like playing anymore. <laughs> Safety and peace, I'll tell you. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. <laughs> I'm a baby assassin! <laughs> oh, that guy is just so tempting to give a little shove to. Oh, the doop doop. doop. <laughs> Maybe Assassin doesn't have his wings. Don't try to fly. Oh god. Collectibles! Don't expect me to get all those. Because <laughs> there's approximately a million. <laughs> that the assassins live like 30 feet up the hill, right? Oh, don't mind me. I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. <laughs> Ooh, I like that little icon on my mini-map. Find the basket weaver, and then punch him! Punch, 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 punch! I must become toddler assassin! So that I can have- so I can kill people. Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? W what letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. Definitely not me. Oh, there we go. There's a fist. Punching. Why is he doing that? Soon, all your eyes will be open to the truth. Oh man. I'm an assassin. I must find a creative way up. Damn it. <laughs> oh, wait, that might work. You're getting punched. Hear the things you say. A traitor. I'm not a traitor. It's Al Mualim who's betrayed us. Hello. Two days attack was but the first. And more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. You know you're about to get punched, right? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> that guy had a look on his face like, hey man, there's a there's a hooded guy following you. I think you're gonna get punched. Hey. Hey you! Find a secluded spot. Oh yeah, that'll do. Right in the bushes. Oh gosh. Oh, he's kicking my ass. Oh, there we go. I yield. <laughs> Speak quickly, then. I have no interest in your games. What are you looking at? Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should, too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Mualim who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. <laughs> you stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. Ouch. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. Yay! What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know <laughs> what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? 
No, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Yay, more health. <laughs> That's all I care about. Oh, I guess the hidden blade's kind of important as well. Yay, I can assassinize people. Uh -huh. 